Okay. So as for the setup sheet, we're going to use the number two flex plate, which is laser etched into the plate. Also the part number 88111 is etched above there. It can face either direction. Install the plate, lining the holes as close as you can get them. We're going to use the pilot sleeve. Per the setup, it goes into groove four, counting from the far side with three. One, two, three, four. We'll then install two number 21 sleeve latches. The sleeve latches must be turned to hold the groove into place. And the latches should be located 180 degrees apart or directly opposite each other. Once you get them finger tight, push on the latches to make sure that they're locking the groove in place. Then take the flywheel holding tool and tighten the two bolts. They do not have to be overly tight, just tightened. Then install the other four bolts around the flywheel. Once the four bolts are finger tight, take the flywheel holding tool and make sure that they are completely tight and snug. Do not over tighten. Over tightening can cause the threads to pull. Once that's installed, select your pilot sleeve. This is a number five. You can verify this by pre-fitting it onto the converter. The next thing we're going to install is the master plate. This calls for the 12 year set. It's clearly marked 12 year set. And directional it has on top. If you note the two larger holes and the third smaller hole at the bottom. Now, if the mounting application requires a horseshoe spacer, those go between the turret and the plate so they would fit approximately where my finger's at. This application doesn't require any. <laughs> Install the spacers and then the three screws. Ensure that there is no distance between the turret and the plate. Or if it requires horseshoe spacers, make sure there's no distance in between the two segments, that everything is tight together. We're then going to install our dowel pins. It calls for number ones. 
They go into holes 2 and 15, as mentioned on the setup sheet. The turret then needs to be rotated to the 130 position, which would be the first position. To do this, you undo the latch, undo the latch, and then move it until it locks in the first position. That's the 130 position. It can be verified by the position of the dowel pins being almost approximately horizontal to each other on a horizontal plane. Thank you.